very welcome to you. Welcome to 17th of January's Godly Blessing. Have you ever thought about how much of time do we waste on a daily basis? Thinking about what somebody said, thinking about what somebody was thinking or could be thinking, even thinking about what they meant throughout the day. And the whole time goes in finding out the why, the when, the where and the what. And that's what today's Supreme Father is saying that that is like a sweet poison to us actually. It's very sweet. It feels very sweet to think about somebody, somebody's thoughts, somebody's emotions towards you and words. And in that meantime, it could be half an hour, an hour, the whole day, we could be losing a lot of precious time. So let's find out what exactly Supreme Creator has to say about this. He says, May you remain free from any attractive bondage of the sweetness of extroversion. Introversion means you are thinking about yourself, you are thinking about God. And extroversion means you are busy thinking about somebody else. So God says, and become liberated in life. And that is the biggest liberation in life. Think about how much time will you save. Think about how much of energies, how, many, how much of emotions will you save for yourself. By not getting into extroversion or thinking about somebody else. What other people think, what other people feel about me and being busy in those things. It's actually giving away a part of your energy to that person for a very long time, depending on how many hours and minutes you're thinking. And in present world, it is hours and days sometimes. And we even forget the most important things which you have come here to do. So God says in details, extroversion means the vibrations of a person's nature. You did not like somebody's nature, habits, behavior, his thoughts, his words, the relationships and connections which you have with them or they have with others. Don't we talk about them also? His relationship with her or their relationship with each other or that person with that person. And we spend so much of time thinking and talking about everybody else's relationship and forget about our own. And that is what happens when we have a lot of time to think about others and no time to respect and love ourselves and the Creator. So God says they lead you to wastefulness of one kind or another, to being always busy in one or another type is another type of wasteful thinking. To always be busy in one or another type of wasteful thinking. To be distant from internal happiness means is to be distant from internal happiness. Now internal happiness can come when you're thinking about yourself, the goodness in you and what things, the flaws which you have to cover up slowly, slowly and remove them. And when we are thinking and focusing on ourselves, that's the only time we can be happy. God then says, peace and happiness too. We are getting distant from happiness, peace and power. So we feel powerless because our thoughts are not in our control. Our emotions are not in our control. That other person, other individual, other people's relationships, our conversation which is going on in, my, in our mind about those two people, sometimes leading to jealousy, sometimes leading to unnecessary thinking, even wasteful thinking, even imagination, sometimes even hallucinations, having dreams at night. And so much of energy, so much of drama goes on in our life on a daily basis that our own happiness, our own peace and our own power to have control over our own life goes away from our hand. So that's why God says this sweetness of extroversion has a great deal of external attraction. It pulls us. What's happening in that person's life? What's happening in my friend's life? What's happening in my past relationship friend's life? What is happening in other people's lives, neighbors' lives? And all of this is wasting a lot of energy, wasting a lot of time. And we are losing time in being happy with ourselves. We are losing time in being peaceful with ourselves. We are losing time in feeling powerful with ourselves. Imagine all of that. So much is going away from you. All the treasures are leaking away. So God says, Therefore, first of all, cut these away. Because the sweetness becomes a subtle bondage. You see, we are talking about telepathy. We are talking about soul's energy being 
exchanged on a daily basis with other people and our energy is spreading to different directions on a everyday basis and how much energy are we giving out to other people other people's relationships what's happening in other people's lives what's happening in other people's connections what are they thinking what words they are using what kind of nature what kind of habits they have and we waste a lot of time in doing all this so a lot of our energy is drawn over there the soul's power is leaking out over there the concentration is getting diluted in simple terms so god then says therefore first of all cut these away cut them away i don't need to think about them they have their own drama they have their own life they have their own part to play mine is the best provided i focus on myself cut these away because this sweetness becomes a subtle bondage and distances you from your destination of success we are here to go in this straight pathway but we take different diversions waste a lot of time and we then realize oh i wasted so much of time thinking about that person i such a foolish thing i have done we even talk to ourselves like that let you not come to that level that you have to talk to yourself like that then when you become free from these bondages you will then be said to be liberated in life imagine that kind of liberation it's one step towards liberation you are liberated in thinking about what is happening in somebody else's life you are so relaxed so cool composed calm loveful and when people meet you you won't have any nonsense wastefulness to talk about no gossiping and you'll waste a lot of time if you do the opposite of this so think about it and how do you do that how do you bring back that power so that you are only taking godly vibrations godly power godly connection godly relationships godly nature godly sanskars and habits you see you have time to think about those also how do you bring about that is what you learn in brahma kumaris do go ahead and join it with this om shanti